Okay, Rochelle, tell us a little bit about this vehicle if you don't mind. Sure, so under the hood here, you're gonna see that we have a radiator like usual. That actually helps us cool the batteries down. So it's really important for electric vehicles to have battery cooling and battery heating because batteries are like people and they need to be within a certain range to be happy. Um, to the left of that, you're gonna see this box sitting up here. And that is our low voltage signaling unit. So it's gonna do things like communicate to the drive motor how fast to turn and um, like your AC unit when it kick on and different things like that. To the back of it, in the back of the truck there, that silver box with the fins, that's an example of an inverter. And that operates kind of like a switch. So DC power comes in there from the battery pack and then this switch goes off and on depending on the software signal being sent um, to the inverter which is just going to convert to AC power and then you can it also changes the voltage and then allows the power coming out of the unit to be provided to the vehicle operating system as needed. Then back down here this is a battery heater so you have the cooling and the heating. You can recognize it with the uh, orange um, things coming out the top of it there. So high voltage is always going to be that bright orange. So high voltage cables and connectors are that color. And then from there we can move down the truck and see the battery pack. This is the battery pack. This truck, because it's a show truck, and we don't really need all of the range that an actual operating truck would need, just has this one pack. Um, the casing you see around it is for crash protection and to keep the batteries safe in there. We take safety very seriously at Daimler and Freightliner. We want to make sure that nothing is going to cause those batteries damage. Um, inside of there, you can see through that crack, that's an example of battery modules. So batteries come in a pack comprised of modules and then inside the modules are some cooling components and the battery cells themselves. So you link the modules together and package them into a battery management system. It's going to keep the batteries, it's going to man monitor the batteries and keep them heated and cool accordingly. The orange box there on the outside is an example of a manual system disconnect. So just in case something were to go wrong and you turn the key off and the contactors don't disengage, you can pull this uh, box out and it removes metal from the high voltage system so that the energy can't continue to flow through the system. So we'll totally remove that. And then the high voltage system will be uh, depowered completely. Brilliant. On the back of the battery, pack you can see these orange cables come out and they run down to this box. This box houses all of the other high voltage components on the truck including the power distribution unit. So those cables are going to run into the power distribution unit where they're then rerouted to the various systems on the vehicle to provide power to those systems. So it's sort of like a junction box. You also have your onboard charger in here. This is the charging port. This truck only has level two charging um, because typically we have plenty of time to charge it up before a show. Um, what else is in that box? Oh, you've got some inverters in there as well. So um, they manage different different sections of the air pump. So it has its own motor and inverter here and it operates the brakes, the air brakes, as well as the suspension. So those are the main components that we have here on this M2. Say it again, this one, I'm sorry. What is this? It's the air compressor. Air compressor. 